Hey, uh, this is my first face. This first video where I showed my face on the channel. Something that, that you might notice is I am kind of young. I'm 16. Uh, I started this channel when I was like 14. So this is my face reveal. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my experiences with White's Tree Frogs. Now this is my White's Tree Frogs enclosure. His name's Mr. Chub Chubs. I've had him for like three or four years, maybe more. But yeah, I'm going to kind of be explaining my experiences and some of the care that goes into keeping one of these little frogs. So, my guy Mr. Chub Chubs used to live in a 20 gallon bioactive enclosure, but now he lives in this. He's actually been through three different enclosures. The bioactive one actually got infested with ants, so I had to like throw that whole thing out. It was a whole, it was a whole deal. It sucked. So I had to put him in like an emergency enclosure, like a little bin. Uh, yeah, it wasn't good, but I got this one set up recently and he seems to be doing really good, which is awesome. These guys do really well in bioactive enclosures, as I said before, and also do pretty well in groups. So yeah, that's that's something that they have going for them. That's pretty awesome. I'd love to, at some point, have a big group of these awesome animals. But anyway, I'm gonna go grab Mr. Chub Chubs. Uh, something to note about White's tree frogs is that they don't really uh, do a lot. So Mr. Chub Chubs, he kind of just hides behind this piece of wood like most of the time and I'm picking him up today I don't pick him up very regularly at all so I actually made sure my hands are hands are rinsed off there's no chemicals on them because frogs are very very sensitive to that but this is Mr. Chub Chubs I kind of see him he's he's a good boy he's a very very chill frog so if you're thinking about getting a white's tree frog make sure that you have a pretty big water dish uh, this both helps retain the humidity level in the enclosure, which is essential for most frogs, and it also allows them to swim around and soak in their enclosure. White tree frogs are actually a lot better than other frogs at retaining moisture, so they don't require as strict um, humidity requirements as other frogs, which is really good and makes them a really good beginner frog and beginner pet in general. You should also make sure to keep this water dish clean because if it gets dirty, it can develop all sorts of bacteria. So your frog might poop in there, he might drag in dirt, or he will drag in dirt. But you want to make that make sure the thing is clean because he also drinks from it, you know? An enclosure similar to this, this is an 18 by 18 by 24, I believe. Um, I could be wrong on that. But this works really well for one white's tree frog like him. He's an adult. Uh, I'm sure you could keep a couple juveniles or a couple small um, frogs in one of these, but as an adult, this is good for one of them. If you want to keep a colony, I would definitely recommend getting a bigger tank. These frogs, they really appreciate live plants, and uh, Mr. Chub Chubs used to crawl all around his live plants when I had him in his 20 gallon uh, bioactive enclosure, but sadly, that one did get infested with ants, but I am looking to get some more live plants for this enclosure because it looks, it looks awesome, and they really like it, and it also helps to uh, break down some waste in the enclosure. Another thing that helps break down waste is isopods, which I have some powder oranges in here. Uh, I've heard that other ones work as well, but powder oranges have just been the ones that I've used for a while, so I just tend to use them. Uh, these guys, they're not super picky eaters. This guy will eat, he'll eat dubia roaches if I dangle them in front of him, same with uh, hornworms, and he'll hunt crickets, he loves crickets. But I've heard that they can eat other things. I would do a little bit of research, but that's just my experience on that. Uh, let's also make sure, keep in mind, I'm not an expert. This is just kind of my experience and my general advice to someone who's getting a white tree frog. Hello. Don't jump. You're going to want to kind of do this sometimes when handling so they don't just jump. Because they, they can jump quite a far distance. Make sure you have some good hides in your enclosure so your frog feels secure. As you can see, I've got like three or four hides in there. It's not a super huge enclosure, so I can't fit a bunch, but once I get some plants in there, it'll uh, also create some more natural hides, and that'll be awesome. Make sure you have a substrate in your enclosure that retains moisture and can keep your enclosure humid. Um, I've also noticed that Mr. Chub Chubs has burrowed before, and he did this a lot more when he was a little bit younger, but now as he's an adult, he kind of just sits there on the substrate. Um, but yeah, they do, they do burrow sometimes, so make sure that you have a substrate that they can dig in and is safe for them and retain some humidity. These guys can actually survive a pretty wide variety of temperatures, but I would add a heating pad to the back of the tank as I've done on this tank. 
and and just make sure it doesn't get way too hot because you don't want to fry your frog. Make sure you have like a temperature gauge or you just make sure that it's not burning every day. <laughs> so another thing is, this is kind of the same with most frogs, is that you want to mist them every day. Um, I will admit I have gone a lot longer without misting him. That's another thing that these frogs, they're really good. They're not as humidity sensitive as other frogs are, but they still are humidity sensitive as all frogs are. Just make sure that their habitat's still humid. I've heard that 50% humidity, 70%, uh, I don't really have a humidity gauge on mine, I should probably get one, but he's been okay up till now. Something that I did not think of when getting Mr. Chub Chubs here is that males are quite loud. So Mr. Chub Chubs is in fact a mister. He makes very loud wah, wah, wah sounds and he, he's got a very, oh sorry, I, I lifted him up a little fast, but I don't know if you'll be able to see, I'll try to get some close-ups of him later, but he's got a very, um, a very flappy throat, which is actually what goes wah, wah. So that's really cool. Uh, so if you're a very light sleeper, you might want to keep these guys in like another room or something if you have a male, because they can be quite loud and wake you up. If you have any more questions about White's Tree Frogs, or if you want to buy a White's Tree Frog, I would highly, highly recommend Josh's Frogs. They're an awesome company. I've ordered bioactive stuff from them in the past, cork bark, plants, stuff like that. It's just really awesome company they have really awesome frogs i've heard i haven't i haven't personally bought frogs from them but i've seen reviews and they seem like a really awesome company so go check them out thanks for watching as always i am carter you're watching basement pets and i'll see you guys in the next video all right chubster go back in we'll go back no he doesn't he likes to be out but Likes to kind of, I think he's very curious. He likes to look around. That's another thing I didn't really mention is they have a very big personality. Just crawl off. I feel like he's going to pee on me. They pee a lot. That's another thing I didn't mention. They pee all over the place.